Hi, welcome to Little Minds, where we discuss child psychology. Today's video is going to focus on babies under a year old and how their temperaments and parenting styles can affect their growth. We hear people characterize babies in two groups, an easy baby or a difficult slash fussy baby. These categories are also known as the temperaments of your baby, meaning the intensity of their emotional disposition and reactions. Thomas and Chess's research shows there are three main temperament styles that a baby can display. Easy, difficult, and slow to warm up temperaments. A baby's temperament is a combination of biological and environmental factors. This means there are ways to interact with your baby based on their temperament that can facilitate healthy development. Let's understand the temperaments before we learn how to react to them. A baby with an easy temperament can easily adapt, has a positive mood, and a non-intense reaction to stimuli. A baby with a difficult temperament has a hard time adapting, a negative mood, and intense reactions to stimuli. A baby with a slow to warm up temperament adapts slowly, has a neutral to negative mood, and tends to withdraw from situations instead of reacting with any kind of intensity. This is not to say that all babies fit within one of the three categories. About 30% of babies don't perfectly fit in one of the categories. These categories and temperaments are not used today to label children and babies, but rather help us understand them. Being able to understand them on this deeper level helps us create ideal environments for our children to have healthy attachment and development. I'm sure we would all love to have an easy temperament baby, but that's just not realistic. So let's work together and learn how we can be proactive parents in helping our child grow into positive toddlers. The parenting style that works best for one child might not work best for all children. Every child is unique and requires unique attention. So if you have one child that has an easy temperament and one that has a difficult temperament, the parenting approach might look different when interacting with each child. This may sound difficult, but it's simply learning how to communicate better with your child depending on their temperament. Communication doesn't just mean verbal. For babies, this is nonverbal communication. Being aware of your nonverbal communication that you are sharing with your baby is extremely important in creating a healthy relationship. If your baby has an easy temperament, then the type of parenting you have isn't as critical. These types of babies can easily adapt to different parenting styles. They require less attention and tend to be self-entertaining. This obviously doesn't mean to ignore your baby, but rather they are less emotionally reactive to stimuli, so they don't require as much reassurance from their parents. When easy temperament babies do need to express themselves, just one tear can reveal a deep level of emotion. Let's look at Sally. Sally has an easy temperament, and her parents tend to have a very routine regimen that they live by. Sally goes with the flow and allows her parents to take the lead when it comes to guiding her through life. She isn't affected by any stern demeanors her parents might express. When her parents hire a babysitter, Sally is quick to allow that new person into her life. Easy temperament children really are not affected by parenting styles for the most part, so parents can keep the style that feels most natural to them. On the other hand, if your baby has a difficult temperament, then the type of parenting style you have can drastically affect your baby. These babies are more emotionally impressionable, meaning if your parenting style is more strict and cold, then they can be more susceptible to long-term negative emotional effects. If your family is known to have any emotional diseases, then your baby is more prone to having those diseases triggered if both are true. They have a difficult temperament and the parents have a strict parenting style. Babies with difficult temperaments won't necessarily always be this way. It's important for the parents to know that they have influence over the way their child reacts to situations. Adapting to your baby's needs will help them by the time they become a toddler. Children's temperaments are more defined once they are a toddler, so dealing with it in a constructive manner when they are babies will make everyone's life easier as they get older. Natively, difficult temperaments react intensely to stimuli, but if the parent focuses on their nonverbal communication with their baby, then over time, the baby can get to a point where they react more positively when confronted with the same situations. It is extremely important to understand that this type of behavior is completely normal. 
If a parent doesn't understand that this is normal, then they may come to resent their child. When a child is having an outburst of crying or resistance to a situation, it is easy to become flustered and anxious as a parent. Babies are very receptive and can pick up on your heartbeat and breathing and feel if you're working yourself up. This will only make it worse. So take a deep breath, collect yourself, and try to be a calm support system for your baby. This will help diffuse overwhelming emotions that they may be feeling. Studies show that one of the most effective parenting styles that can help your baby with a difficult temperament is a positive authoritative style. In the long run, this parenting style can help your child cognitively, socially, and academically. A positive authoritative parenting style focuses on being responsive, nurturing, and showing respect. Instead of trying to control your baby and their emotions, guiding them to a more positive state is important. An example of this would be instead of trying to quiet your baby, distract them with a positive stimuli, like a toy. A key thing to take note of is that this works for babies, but once they are toddlers and they understand consequences, then limit setting is important. Distracting a toddler with a toy would have a negative effect because they would be getting rewarded for negative behavior. Again, in this video, we are emphasizing what can be done with babies to allow them to grow into positive toddlers. Limit setting just doesn't apply as much to babies since they cannot understand consequences yet. Your baby's attachment is extremely important if they tend to have a difficult temperament. If your baby has a healthy attachment to their primary caregiver, then they will grow into a more social and positive child. On the other hand, if the parent becomes resentful of their baby's difficult temperament and withdraws from them, then they will grow up to be just as withdrawn and continue to have a negative demeanor. Let's look at Connor. Connor has a difficult temperament and his parents tend to be more free-spirited. Due to them being free spirits, they move around a lot and whoever they can get to watch Connor on a whim is the babysitter for their date nights. This is a struggle for Connor because he is unable to adapt to the changing of environments and people quickly. His parents become frustrated with his crying fits and let him cry it out. This isn't effective and quickly they learn that being frustrated is only making the situation worse. Their heartbeat rises and they yank him when they pick him up. Connor's parents change their parenting style to cater to the needs of their baby. They start to comfort Connor when he is crying instead of leaving him to cry alone. Isolation does not make anyone feel good when they are in an emotional state. His parents also stay aware of their breathing and physical movements when dealing with Connor during his fits. They take a deep breath to relax themselves and interact with him gently. These small changes in the way they deal with his outbursts have made Connor feel more protected and safe when things are changing around him. Now let's look at slow to warm up temperament. If your baby has a slow to warm up temperament, the parenting style isn't as detrimental, but it's rather a question of effective or ineffective. These babies tend to withdraw from situations they are not initially comfortable with. As a baby, this is likely displayed as no reaction to stimuli or a neutral reaction, not smiling or crying. However, if they do cry in these moments, it will be less intense than a difficult temperament baby. A slow to warm up temperament baby is as it sounds. A baby will eventually adapt to their environment or stimuli, but it will be on their own time. Patience is one of the most important traits to express to your baby, no matter your inherent parenting style. Letting a baby explore their discomfort on their own terms will allow them to grow. If the parents are more aggressive and push their baby to be comfortable with the new stimuli too fast, then the baby will likely shut down. Once a baby shuts down and withdraws, the parents now have two hurdles instead of one. First, they have to re-engage the baby, and second, they have to reintroduce the stimuli to the baby so they can become comfortable. Let's look at Christy. Christy has a slow to warm up temperament, and her parents are a very outgoing couple. They surround themselves with a lot of friends and family. Everyone wants to hold Christy, and her parents see nothing wrong with passing their baby around. While this normally is not an issue, they notice Christy puckers her lip and becomes upset. As outgoing parents, they don't understand what is wrong with Christy, 
and why she is having an issue with people that she has met before. Just because Christy has met these people doesn't mean that she is comfortable with them. Every time that she is put in a situation with other people other than her parents, she feels uneasy. Christy needs time to warm up to the changing environment. Once Christy's parents realize she needs time to adapt, they change their approach in social situations. Now her parents walk her around to the people they interact with and introduce Christy. They allow people to have physical contact with Christy while still holding her. This allows Christy to adapt at her own pace while still feeling safe in her parents' arms. Eventually, Christy will choose to be held by her parents' friends. This lowers Christy's anxiety level and gives her the opportunity to respond to new stimuli at a pace that is comfortable for her. Hopefully now you can better understand your baby's temperaments and how to adapt to them. Thank you for watching and join us next time to learn more about the little minds in our lives.